The Human Zoo. Item number SCP-2429. Object class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-2429 is allowed to operate as normal. Foundation operatives are to be covertly placed around SCP-2429 at all times. All entrances to SCP-2429-1 should be obstructed by wooden boards and display an out-of-order sign. Should any person without proper clearance enter SCP-2429-1 for any reason other than approved testing, it is to be considered a breach of containment. Any person who enters and exits SCP-2429-1 without proper clearance is to be administered a Class A amnestic as soon as possible. Any person displaying obvious behavior typical of being affected by the anomalous properties of SCP-2429 is to be administered a Class A amnestic as soon as possible. Description: SCP-2429 is the blank zoo located in blank Texas. The zoo is, for all intents and purposes, a normal zoo. All staff and guests interact with the zoo as would be expected, and no anomalous properties are immediately noticeable. The anomalous properties of SCP-2429 manifest only after entering and exiting a bathroom on the far east side of the zoo, hereafter referred to as SCP-2429-1. Upon entering and exiting SCP-2429-1, all of the animals contained within SCP-2429 appear as nude humans. This appearance manifests only for those who have entered and exited SCP-2429-1 and has no effect on other observers. The humans continue to exhibit behaviors typical of whatever animal would normally be in their enclosure, including crawling on all fours, eating raw meat or plant matter, animalistic vocalizations, and so on. The effects of SCP-2429-1 seem to be localized to SCP-2429 and do not affect animals elsewhere. Birds, rodents, or other animals that enter SCP-2429 still appear as they normally would, even to those who have passed through SCP-2429-1. Many entities within SCP-2429 appear as normal human beings of various gender and skin tone. However, those representing animals vastly different from human proportion appear to have been surgically modified to more closely resemble the animal they represent. These modifications include, but are not limited to, lengthened arms and legs, lengthened spinal cord and torso, and skulls shaped to resemble snouts. Those affected by SCP-2429 typically react in shock and horror to the confusion of those unaffected around them. The effects of SCP-2429-1 appear to be permanent, but can be remedied with the use of Class A amnestics. SCP-2429 entities do not seem to hold human levels of intelligence, and all attempts to interact with or interview said entities have proven fruitless. Foundation researchers conducted a more thorough inspection after passing through SCP-2429-1 and concluded that the SCP-2429 entities in their human form have shown adapted skeletal structure, typical of people walking on all fours. Those that have been surgically modified often have inflamed or infected stitching, and in some cases, stitches have partially broken, leading to severe open wounds. Photographs and video recordings of SCP-2429 entities appear as normal animals, except to those who have entered and exited SCP-2429-1. This is true even of photographs and video recordings taken before any individual person had exited SCP-2429-1. After an intensive Foundation-led investigation, it has been determined that all staff and corporate entities related to SCP-2429 hold no responsibility for the anomalous nature of SCP-2429. It should be noted, however, that the current owner and manager of SCP-2429 was aware that something was wrong with SCP-2429-1. He claimed that the previous owner had constructed a wooden barrier in front of all entrances to SCP-2429-1 and strongly advised ignoring SCP-2429-1 rather than attempting to repair it. SCP-2429-1 is also a source of superstition among the staff at SCP-2429, many believing that SCP-2429-1 is haunted or cursed. Though, these superstitions are unfounded and likely originate from the dilapidated appearance of SCP-2429-1. The previous owner of SCP-2429 was operating under an alias, and his whereabouts are currently unknown. The barriers to the entrances of SCP-2429-1 seem to have been effective in keeping most out, and an employee-only area had eventually been constructed around SCP-2429-1, preventing any guests from potentially finding their way into SCP-2429-1 
explaining how SCP-2429 evaded Foundation attention for so long. SCP-2429 was first brought to the Foundation's attention in 2010 through a Twitter post by user at blank, who was later determined to be Robert Blank of Blank, Texas. Robert was a maintenance crew member on staff at SCP-2429 and decided to investigate SCP-2429-1. Upon viewing the anomaly of SCP-2429, he captured a video with his mobile phone, obviously panicked and disturbed, repeatedly asking aloud, Why are there people in here? to the confusion of those around him. He later posted this video to Twitter with the message, Is this some kind of sick joke? Foundation agents operating within Twitter moderation staff were able to quickly delete the post and trace Robert's location. It was at first suspected that Robert may have simply been suffering from a mental illness until a short interview and investigation alerted Foundation agents to SCP-2429. Class A amnestics were administered to Robert before any major incident occurred. 